So most people who have been playing Idle Heroes have been around for quite a while. There's a very small portion of the community that I think are in the very early game. Most people have been playing six months or longer at this point. It feels like there is a lack of new players coming to the game. However, there's people returning the game or play very casually that try to follow the guides and they kind of just make some mistakes that are very minor, but really do affect their progression. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one today. We are jumping on one of our viewers accounts, trying to help them out. And this is for SUP on Discord. So what we have here is a pretty stereotypical early game account. However, you can immediately look, and I think just about everybody here can raise their hand and say there's one very big mistake going on. It's not even like building all these heroes up to eight, seven, eight, nine stars. You know I hate that. That's the first thing. The problem is we have a Fairy Queen Vesta, which is a perfectly good choice for first Transcendence hero. Uh, but they did the big mistake and they made the Fairy Queen Vesta the stronger hero and not the Eloise. All the power in the early game needs to stay in this character right here. First and foremost, that is the biggest power loss. And even having these heroes in here, not a good look. We're just gonna immediately do a couple fixes for him, even if it means spending gems and stuff like that, which we don't have much, but specific things need to be done here. We need to do some resets. We need to retool this account. Oh no, the Tree of Origin has been activated to level 10. <laughs> oh. oh my lord, this is where it gets dangerous because we have a very, very limited number of soul symbols. However, man, there's really only one way to do this. Oh, this is to regress the hero and rebuild her. No, we can't even really swap because swapping heroes would take double that. So if we want to do the replace strategy to save like stones and stuff like that, like we'd have to do 10 and then we'd have to do 10 back, which doesn't work. Instead, we have to regress the hero, grab the power off of her. And that feels really, really bad. We don't really have excess stellar shards right now. And we're only sitting at, I mean, it's close. Is definitely close, but even if these six cores right here manage to high roll, I still don't think it would be enough. And he is doing the smart thing, doing the right compass. Oh, I think we need to rebuild this account form because we need to get the Eloise with the power. So as bad as this feels to do, we are actually going to regress this Fairy Queen Vesa. And that brings us down to five soul symbols which really does suck. It really, really does. We are going to immediately just come back in here and rebuild this hero. Just like this. I'm gonna literally build her back up, except we're not gonna put all that power. I guess we didn't have to. There's a second Vesa because of the tenant. Well, this is pretty awkward. Because <laughs> there's no need for another Vesa on this account. I guess we could just leave that one there as food, technically. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. The stuff we're going to have to do here. All right. Well, let's just build this up to E5. Because we do want to make sure she's still useful as a transcendence hero. Uh, and we are going to take the time and do this right here. We're going to invest all the way up in here. And bam, that is solid. So now we got that. And what we need to do is we need to remake the Fairy Queen Vesta. Now, there are a couple options you can do in the early game. Fairy Queen Vesta is one of the safer bets. A lot of people nowadays are going for Hyperspace Hunter Islamok instead. Uh, I, I don't think that's necessary to do. I still think Fairy Queen Vesta is a perfectly good support hero to have. However, you don't need to put the extra investment in this Fairy Queen Vesta either. All the power needs to go to the Eloise and we need to put her on the Cloud Island. This hero goes here. And then we're going to build the other heroes to fit these slots. We are going to build a Jara. We are going to build an Onkirimaru. And we're going to build an Amun. Uh, we're going to build a carry. Let's be honest. Carry is the better option here. Uh, there are technically more usable heroes like Ithqua. But Ithqua is just not as good of a stat game. So essentially we're just going to continue powering up the tenants of this hero. And in this case, we're going to try to build a ticks up. Do we have any ticks copies? 
The answer is no, no, and technically yes, but I don't want to use it. So essentially what needs to happen, keep building this ticks up to E5. Once you get to E5, you're going to start investing in the enabling. You're going to go for the void imprints. You're going to get that stat as much as possible. You're definitely going to have to start saving carry copies up. You are definitely going to need to build this on carry Maru up higher as well, which again, you need more copies. This is pretty much where like my free to play is in a way, except we have more support heroes already built because again, you don't need this Garuda. You really don't need this Aspen either. This Aspen would have been better served as a carry in this situation. And there's just a lot of things that we can do to kind of fix the progression. The biggest thing is making sure we fill this household up to get all these additional stats. That's going to be one of the best things we can do. Get as many bonus stats to the Eloise because the Eloise is going to clear the content. Prime example, we're on 21. I'm guessing we can probably clear this. I, I, I imagine we can clear this out. Don't really have anything great. Looks like there might have been a jar on this account at one point as well. But just doing this and not really even focusing on anything else might actually just get us a victory where we were previously stuck just because being a homeowner being v4 is so important with eloise i need to get that poison dot off holy cow we need some poison purify i think yeah <laughs> it's a lot of damage coming in absolutely crazy we want to go to dot purify uh, we do have a regular crown which is cool although like sometimes i'd actually maybe even use the withered armor uh this needs to change as well this needs to be a much better stone Attack HP is already better, but in reality, I want to find a block attack stone. Block stat is the most important thing for this hero to make sure she's getting her counterattacks off every time. I don't want to burn too many resources here because the attack HP will still work, but the speed attack was a very bad play on this hero. Perfect. There we go. We got block attack, which is like what I like to see. Puts the block up to 123, which counteracts some of the precision that enemies have. And we have the dot removal, and this should just immediately get us a victory. It is difficult pushing C-Lane 21 plus this early in the game, but it's definitely possible with an Eloise. And the fact that we're going to keep this dot stack from building up to crazy heights should mean we save our unbending will proc maybe one more round. Yep. We did get twine though, and that's the downside of using the poison removal. So it's definitely doable. We'll definitely clear this out with a couple skips right there. Got it cleared out. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, we're in 22, and 22 is kind of easily cleared. Like, kind of, not really. It's difficult. You kind of want more baby tixes for this and stuff. Oh, we can't quite we can't quite get 22 done. But with the correct investment, building up the carry, building up the uh ticks all the way up to e5 making sure you fill out those last two slots with a jara and on carry maru that is kind of like the most popular thing you do have the jar copies which is good and it should get you in a proper state so make sure even when you get your first transcendence hero guys you're only using this transcendence hero as a support hero they don't get void in printing they don't get anything like that everything goes to Eloise and her tenants. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you guys take one second, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.